Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. This is Interesting Ideas. My name is Stan Houston, and I'm the leader of What It Takes Radio Company, and we're here to help you become a master of self-expression and to uh, get your wisdom, your insight, and your truth, and most importantly, the story of how you can serve someone else and uh, how you can be uh, a person of influence and a person of wisdom, and perhaps a person who actually cares about the customers and colleagues and clients they work with. We'd like you to be able to live better starting right now. Hey, today is Thursday. Thursday is the day after Wednesday, the hump day. And of course, uh, many of you know that I have said that Thursday could be turbulence day. And I've already had some turbulence because uh, I had to uh, correct somebody. <laughs> and uh, it, I did it kindly and gently. And uh, I thought with uh, their well-being in mind. but uh, And they took it pretty well. But uh, we had to get some things done to make the business run better. And so that's what I did. So there was a little bit of turbulence already. But uh, that will make sure, hopefully, that uh, on Friday, which is Future Day and Leadership Day, that uh, that will have settled down and we'll move forward and our relationship will perhaps even improve because uh, the business process that we were working on will certainly improve. And I think they figured that out because they seemed okay after a while. So, yes. It was a turbulent Thursday already. So uh, I thought this would be a good day to uh, challenge myself and perhaps challenge us all with sometimes the discouragements that we all face, um, the tough times that we face. Uh, I uh, have a, a little video coming out. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think it's tomorrow. And it's a little four-minute video, and in effect, uh, it's about the fact that uh, we're going to hit tough times. We're going to have adversity. Uh, there is going to be challenges in our life, and how do we begin to approach those? So that's coming out uh, on our uh, Jesus Entrepreneur Experience uh, video shows, uh, perhaps tomorrow. But we'll talk more about that some other time because that will be coming up on interesting ideas quite often, like right now. <laughs> hey, um, I do, with a number of people, a podcast called Cowboy Up Podcast. And it is in the Western genre of things. And uh, we're also doing one on uh, what we call Tales of Old Tombstone, we're having a wonderful program on the history of Route 66. Uh, we're also going to have one on the, the cowboy view of a man and wild horses, simply called the call of the wild. And uh, a lot of people are interested in somewhat the weaponry of the West, you know, supposedly the idea of the Colt peacemaker, the gun that won the West, the peacemaker, uh, on a frontier firearms, and um, just things of interest in the Western genre. That part of my business is called Cowboy Spirit USA, and it came out of my uh, long acquaintance and friendship with many of the people in Arizona who are in the dude ranch and hospitality business, and certainly uh, being in Tucson, you are in the land of cowboys, and uh the Western traditions. And so uh, that's where a lot of our business is focused on because I love the arena, love the area, and uh, certainly love the stories of the uh, tales of the Old West. Well, in uh, that particular thing, we actually had a time where we had people who sing songs. You know, we just have good Western songs. Happy trails to you, you know, Roy Rogers and Dale Evans and all the wonderful cowboy songs. Well, just recently we had one on called uh, uh, A Cowboy's Lament. A Cowboy's Lament. And it's a rather challenging song. 
kind of a sad song, and it kind of deals with that question that we all have from time to time. It's called, Where Has God Gone? Yeah, when things are really tough, where has God gone? Well, let's have a little burp, and then we'll go right into the music by Carol Markson. Carol Markson. Uh, and the program was used uh, in uh, one of our Cowboy Up programs, and uh, I think I have permission to use it again right now. Here we go. Yeah. 
you sometimes feel that way, you know? Here's the story of somebody who did everything right, you know, and they had their own little kettle, and all of a sudden the bad guys come in, and they steal it all. Uh, where is the justice in that? Where is the where's the lawman who's going to come in and do the right thing? And again, where's God in that? Why didn't God stop these bad guys from ruining my dream? You know, and that, of course, is part of what the, uh, quote, Passion Week Easter celebration is all about in the Christian tradition. Uh, even at that time, and many of you know the story, that even as the week progressed from what was called Palm Sunday in which Jesus was welcomed mightily by the people of Jerusalem. And by the end of the week, they're yelling, crucify him. And even Jesus himself wonders, where in the world has God gone? <laughs> you know, um, I am God, but where's God gone? And that flows into the... Uh, what is called the Good Friday Tragedy, an interesting story. Why do they call it good when it was so terrible? And then, of course, what would be the time where death has been conquered in the resurrection story? But this is a time when we are called to remember that sometimes faith is involved in still believing, following, and having faith when you wonder, where has God gone? Well, I'm just going to say that's a fair question. And all of us, uh, even those of us who believe very strongly in the traditions and in the faith, find ourselves from time to time. And I think what this season is about, at least in some respect, is to say, that's okay. That's okay. Don't live there. Please don't stay there. But that's okay. Yeah. Just a thought, just a remembrance on this uh, turbulent Thursday. Uh, tomorrow will be Transformation Friday, and uh, we'll uh, be talking uh, uh, about a story that came uh, from a... Um, event that happened many, many years ago, and the woman who actually put her life in the hands of God, and it was really tough, and then uh, was able to transform things and live a life well, and at the same time, accepted the fact that even the good things, even the good life, will always come to an end. That will be tomorrow. I'm Stan Houston for Interesting Ideas. I hope that I will see you again tomorrow. All the best and blessings. Take care, and bye for now.